This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. I'm going to show you an awesome little device that not only looks beautiful, but you could use it for almost anything in your media production or media consumption. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include Gazelle.com. Turn in your old iPhone into cash. Visit TPN.TV slash cash. Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the Audacity to Podcast.com here at CES 2014 with the Tech Podcast Network. And I'm at the Griffin booth here with Jatan. And we have something really cool to show you. Jatan, show me, tell me about this awesome little silver device with blue LEDs. Well, this is our PowerMate Bluetooth. If you're familiar with our company, Griffin, you might already know about our PowerMate that we had uh, for, actually we've had it for years now. It used to connect to a computer via USB and people had been using it for all kinds of purposes. Uh, the PowerMate Bluetooth is our revised version of that, kind of bringing it into the future. It supports Bluetooth 4.0 uh, uh, and that is Bluetooth LE, our low energy, so you're not gonna have to change the batteries too much. Uh, and that's currently compatible with Mac computers that support Bluetooth 4.0 or higher. But there's the possibility of it working on other platforms in the future. There's always the possibility of working on other platforms. It's technology, anything's right. possible. And you mentioned batteries, what kind of batteries does this take? There's two AAA batteries in there, uh, and you shouldn't have to change the batteries more than you would, let's say, an Apple wireless mouse. Okay, so we get some great battery life there, and certainly I recommend rechargeable batteries. Yeah. But tell me, what can this device do, other than just look really cool? I mean, I just want one, just as a paperweight, yeah. but what can it do? Well, the PowerMate is uh, essentially a programmable USB controller. There are six actions or movements, you might call them. You can rotate it right, you can rotate it left, you can click on it once, you can click and hold on it, you can click and hold, rotate right, click and hold, rotate left. Each one of these actions you can assign to a particular keyboard function in all of your favorite programs. Okay, great. Let's see what some of what it can do. Yeah, the, the program is fairly intuitive, and this is what the software that you would be getting with the PowerMate. As you can see here, the PowerMates are on the left-hand side. You can also notice that you can connect multiple PowerMates at a time to one computer. In the center here, all the applications that you tend to use the most will come up in the middle. And on the right-hand side, it makes it fairly easy to assign functions. So let's say that we're looking at preview, for instance, uh, where you'd be looking at most of your documents. You can set it up to, if I want to do a key press, now I already have it set to Command P, which if you know your shortcuts, that's for print. Uh, but we make it a little bit easier for you to find the shortcuts. So if I click on Set with Predefined Shortcut, it actually brings up what would be in the taskbar and all the shortcuts so you don't have to go looking for it. That is amazingly smart and amazingly handy too because I've previously had to do things like this with other tools and had to find what the keyboard shortcut was or set the keyboard shortcut. So you can just activate any menu command. Yeah, from I can't tell you many, how many times I've had to Google like shortcuts for this particular program and it's, it's not anywhere to be found. So that makes it a lot easier. And then you can see here we have long press, rotate left, and preview I have rotate left to a scroll event, and that's fairly obvious what that is, scroll left, right, up, and down. And you can also do uh, system events, and that would be things like dis brightness display and, and things that you do, basically the keys up on the top of your Mac computer. So let's switch that back to uh, scroll event here. Scroll event, and that's gonna be scroll down, yeah. Would you like to see it in action? I would love to. Okay, so I have it set up for a few programs right now. Uh, the coolest thing is QuickTime. Basically, uh, we've seen a lot of people use the old PowerMate, and we hope they use the new PowerMate for things like audio processing and scrubbing video. So you can see I have it set up now. If I rotate right, it kind of scrubs right. Mind you, the sensitivity can be adjusted, so you can be as minute or as big as you want to be. And then I have it set to, if I want to just play the video, I just click on it, and we're good to go. I also have a few other programs set up. Uh, we did mention preview. So I click on preview here. If you have a long document, you may want to scroll through it. Again, the sensitivity can be adjusted. 
And uh, let's say I'm done with the document and I want to print it. I just click once and my print dialog comes up. I can see so much potential for this because you can customize all of these things. Like I'm thinking zoom in, zoom out, volume adjustments, yeah. brush size adjustments in Photoshop. It could be scrolling horizontally inside of uh, an audio editor, which that right there is always a different keyboard shortcut. So much potential. And how many commands did you say you could program into this? Six commands. But you can add a little added layer as well. We have modifiers, so you can add shift and rotate to make to do other things, or command and rotate and do other things. So th there's a few modifiers as well. Very nice. So it sounds almost like it has unlimited possibilities. Certainly with all of the programs out there, and the best thing I saw in your control panel there is a plus button to add whatever program that may not even already show up in the list. As soon as you open a program, it shows up in that list. Nice. So we'll be right back to talk about pricing and availability on this. I love my iPhone. And I'm sure if you have an iPhone or a similar mobile device, you probably love it too. But you know what happens? These things get updated. And when they get updated, I know you want to upgrade. I want to upgrade. Well, now there's a way that you can do that. And it is a way that you get cash for your old devices. Go to tpn.tv slash cash, where you can trade in your phone with Gazelle to get cash back. What's awesome about it is that you lock in at a price for 30 days. And you'll know that no matter what happens, you'll get that price for your phone. So if it's an old phone, a fairly new one you just want to replace, or if it's even an old dead phone, you can recycle it with Gazelle. You've got to check out Gazelle to get cash for your old devices. Go to tpn.tv slash cash. That's tpn.tv slash cash to get cash for your old devices. The PowerMate Bluetooth is amazing, and it looks great, it functions great. What kind of pricing are we looking at? We're looking at $59.99 and availability in summer of 2014, that's this year. Awesome, and then where can people go to find more information about this? Check out our website, www.griffintechnology.com, and if you want to find out about all the products that we're doing at CES, that would be www.griffintechnology.com forward slash CES dash 2014. Awesome. Well, Jatan, thank you very much. Great products you have here. Thank you. And find out more about all of this and get our other videos that we'll be producing at theaudacitypodcast.com as well as tpn.tv. So for the rest of the Tech Podcast Network, I'm Daniel J. Lewis. Thank you for watching.